Russia is planning to switch payments for Russian gas supplies to unfriendly countries in rubles. The list of such countries includes all the states that have imposed sanctions against Russia. There are 50 countries that are not friendly to Russia, among which are the countries of the European Union, the UK, Canada, the US, Japan, and Switzerland. Currency payments are difficult for Russia due to numerous Western sanctions imposed in response to Russia's military invasion of Ukraine. The central bank and the Russian government have a one-week deadline to determine the order of operations, according to Putin. After that, the Europeans will have to settle on the Russian domestic market in rubles. At the same time, changes will affect only the payment currency. Volumes and prices, according to Putin, will remain as agreed in earlier contracts. Transferring payments in rubles means that foreign gas buyers will have to buy rubles in Russia. Therefore, the Russian currency could strengthen. At the same time, the ruble exchange rate officially set by the Russian central bank significantly differs from the rate offered abroad. The Russians followed the Saudis who decided to convert part of their gas contracts from dollars into yuan. Putin suggested that the EU buy all gas in rubles. Now the Europeans have to sell the euro that Russians so badly need in the current circumstances and buy rubles for it. And this will be done through Russian banks. Next year's volumes are at least 400 billion euros, based on current gas prices. To abandon Russian gas in 2022-23 is not an option for the EU. Several countries have already expressed their position on this issue. Tim Kohler, head of the industry association Zukunft Gas, said the German gas industry is confused by the Russian president's decision. The German authorities say that they can't predict what the exact consequences for the gas trade would be as yet. Austria will continue to pay for Russian gas in euros. There is no other contractual basis, the head of the company said. Also, the Italian Prime Minister's economic advisor believes that it should continue paying for Russian gas in euros, but no decisions have been made yet.